Hey everyone, welcome back. So Pregones Puerto Rican Traveling Theater announces the much awaited full run of its original musical production, Torched. Torched alternates from the 1970s New York when news of Bronx fires filled the headlines to the present day featuring personal accounts of survival, pulsing to the beat of salsa, funk disco, and hip hop. Bueno, Torch, it brings forward true stories of those who lived through the devastating fires caused by arson for profit business. And here now to tell us more is creator and director of Torch and Pregones PRTT's artistic director, Rosalba Rolón. Hello, Rosalba, welcome. Hello, Lina. Thank you so much for your invitation. Always a pleasure to see you. Oh, it's always a pleasure to have you on. I mean, I um, applaud everything that you have all uh, been able to um, basically recreate to just keep the theater business alive. I know uh, Torched was uh, originally going to go back in person. I can't remember exactly when, but I know I was supposed to go see it, and then it got shut down again. When was that? <laughs> that was back in November. Um, in November, we were all set up. We had a beautiful opening night. And then um, the next day, boom, you know, because we were testing every every day. And so we had to close and it was devastating really for everyone. And then we reopened two weeks after, after isolation. And then, um, then we had to close again. So we said, okay, this time around, we're just gonna wait it out. And, and, and stay in touch with our immediate community, um, creative community, and we're all coming back together. And that's what has happened. I know, I, doubt, I believe that was when the Omicron surge w was in place, right? Or was it Delta? Because you know, in Delta, Omicron, and now they don't even have a name for, for this new variant. Pero moving on, I, I do want to know uh, from a creative standpoint, what has that been like for you all to have to keep recreating to mount again from scratch? Well, you know, in a way, uh, like with all creative works, we, build, you know, you build a production. Um, we use usually uh, a whole period of testings of the material throughout. In our case, uh, through our stage garden room, but the summer prior to opening, we were testing the material with, with the audience, with the communities everywhere in the various gardens around the Bronx in conversation with people. And and neighbors and that got us ready to that first phase so our intention is always once we open officially to treat it as a test of sorts you know we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna run it then then we're gonna you know get, get together again see what worked what didn't how can we improve it so we just decided to use the opportunity of that pause to continue working on the material and looking at things that I already knew that I wanted to spend some more time in. And, and then it's been in that sense, a blessing, because I think that we're, we're very close to, to where I, we really want to be. Right. I mean, uh, this has been five plus years in the making on your part. And so um, obviously this is a very important story to you. And, um, and the way you're telling it is kind of visiting back then and, and bringing it to now. So just share with us why this story has taken you so long to really put together in this format uh, and why you chose that format too. Yes, well, you know, it's, um, it, it's one of those things that when you begin to think about it is because you've been thinking about it without knowing it for 10 years before that. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like one day you say, Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, as you know, Rina Pregones is a touring. We, we initiated our lives 40 years ago as a touring company. And, and before we had our own first place, we had been traveling for seven years, like at least 200 days of the year. And then we continue to travel until today. To, and, and, and just to give you an idea, it's, it's more than 500 cities, 37 states, 18 countries with our work. And to find ourselves in every single corner of the world, from the mountain of Kentucky to South Africa to a mountain in Slovakia, where people are reacting to the fact that we're from the Bronx, that we are a theater in the Bronx. And I'm thinking, what, you know, what did they hear about it? And, and there were some beautiful people and there was on the border with Poland who saying, and are you safe? And can you walk safely in the Bronx? And I'm thinking, and this is a rural 
rural air area in Eastern Europe, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, um, what has happened here? And what has happened is that uh, the um, not the bronze nets of the world, but the big, powerful, entertaining uh, industry of the world, uh, hold the world, Hollywoods of the world, and and you know, um, really decided to launch a story that was mostly bar, bar, you know, uh, varnished, and it ruined the rep reputation of our entire community for the past 50 years in ways that has been really difficult to, to recover from. And I'm really, you know, I, I want to make clear that in my heart, to me, I don't need the validation from everyone in the world, but reputation is important. We work our lives to, to that gain respect and to make sure that, that people look at what we have. And I want to thank, I mean, I have to say gracias, thank you to all of the artists over the past 50 years who have been working on this, the poets, the playwrights, the novelists, the photographers, the visual artists, the graffiti artists, and, you know, um, a, a, everything that came out of the 70s. And because of, of this, we are just adding to those voices, but in my in my head and heart, I wanted to push a little, a little for, um, to clarify, to unveil in some instances, and to just weigh in on the arson for profit business, on who were the perpetrators, who were the people behind the fires, because without a doubt, there was always the community's fault, right? It was the right. neighbors. Was it probably in some cases? That was the case, yes, but there was a whole industry behind it. Right. And I, that is what we um, do in, in this musical, in this play. And the, 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 always the challenge is how do you do it and do it entertainment, and, you know, but that's what art is, you know, right. you make it, do it in a way that people can relax and have fun and look at it and like, damn, you know, that is right after you see the landlord and the insurance broker dancing a uh, rock, uh, you know, as they're as they're planning their next building to be burned. Um, but that's the music. That's the magic of the theater, though. The magic of the theater is that you can educate individuals, right, and you can educate them in a way that they are actually re-experiencing it from this other place of of what if versus um, even though I know it's factual, but just in the way you're telling the story it allows you to kind of really sit with it uh, truthfully, uh, as opposed to just watching it and walking away from it. Yes, I, last night a young woman, it was so great, a young woman said to me, I learned a lot and I had fun. I said, well, that's the best of both worlds. You have fun while you learn, you know? Um, and, and But to me, the reason why we, I settled in 1977, of course, the era of the 70s, and then 2022 through a narrator um, that gives thinking of her goals and the things that she's heard over the past 40 years because she wasn't born yet. And so in a way, I came to New York when I was already a young woman, um, right in the 70s. So the whole thing about the fires was very new to me. So I, it was in a way that reflection, but then I lived in the Bronx for 30 years and, and it's a reflection of all those life experiences. And, and these, are, these are fictional characters based on people and interviews and things that I conducted over a long period of time. So I always say any, um, they're, they're fictional characters, any coincidence is purely intentional. <laughs> right, right, right. No, but I know you did extensive research. And um, before we go, I do want to share with our audience uh, what they can expect, right? Because I, if I'm not mistaken, it's multimedia as well. And, and, and the, the fact that you got, you have all these music uh, different genres of music incorporated, it, it's going to be an experience of like a, a time capsule. Mm -hmm. It is. And we have a beautiful band, a live band, uh, led by the composer of the piece, Ms. Guevara, and beautiful, beautiful um, uh, images, you know, collected by, by our uh, design crew, by Iman, and um, lighting and set and everything. It was just a collective effort, really, truly, to, to make sure that we're both hearing about the story, these stories today, but knowing that that we're going to be thrown back to the 70s and that 
for an hour and 15 minutes. We also have, I want to say, uh, a friend of mine recently said, you know, this is an hour and 15 minutes with five intermissions only because we have these 30 second surprises. Um, of also, there's surprises in there too. Uh, the, yeah, I like it. Testimonials by, by elders who were there and they, um, so anyway, I'll leave it at that. No, I, I love it. Well, I love that about Pregones always. You know, Pregones PRTT now. Um, you, you definitely find ways to honor everyone uh, and, and really bring things to light in, in with the utmost dignity, right? It's like you can tell the story, but it's the way the story is being told. And that's one of the lovely uh, things that I can walk away with. I, I know I walk away with experiencing your production. So, um, so thank you. So thank you. Thank you for never letting go and thank you for never giving up despite, you know, all these tumultuous times we've all had to deal with in, you know, this roller coaster ride. Um, do you have any last words, Rosalba? Oh, just to know that we're there every Thursday through Sunday so until June 12th and, and I hope to meet you all at the theater. Wonderful. Woo, everyone, once again, that was Rosalba Rolón, Pregones PRTT's artistic director and creator and director of Torch. Torch is on uh, playing now. It's happening now through June 12th at Pregones Theater, which is located at 575 Walton Avenue in the Bronx. And for tickets and uh, for more information, you can visit PregonesPRTT.org. All right, stay tuned. Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.